Hi guys, so I thought I would show you a pretty interesting app I came across. It uh, seems pretty useful and um, what it is is it's called Tablet Remote and what you do is you control your tablet through your smartphone, namely an Android phone since it's an Android tablet. And uh, the way it works is it connects through either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, uh, connects your two devices and uh, you could control whatever you normally would do with, uh, with your hands through a different device. Uh, I guess it makes it easier for games and stuff like that. I guess if you're connecting your tablet to a TV, you can access it that way. If you want to browse from the couch or whatever, there's plenty of applications for it. But let's get started. So first, you're going to download uh, the app on both devices, which I've already done here. And uh, we're going to go, I'm going to connect it through Wi-Fi in this example, but it works pretty much the same way with uh, Bluetooth. Just pair the devices and then search for them. And the way you search for them is you go into your connection, I guess I'll show it on my phone since I can pick it up and show it like that. And uh, you scan for devices. Uh, well, obviously, it already found my Nexus 7 through the Wi Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm uh, connected there. And it says that it is connected. So we're going back here. And uh, for the tablet, you want to go into your setup. And you want to have both of these check marked. So you're going to go here. We're going to put the input as a tablet remote app. And then we're going to go here and also choose tablet remote. And now that we have those both checked, we're going to go back here and exit it. Now with the with your phone that you're going to be controlling the tablet with, uh, we're going to be going to the remote and we should be able to now uh, browse around the screen see there you go it's working and what it does is when you choose these arrows it uh, moves from app to app until you hit the last app and then it switches over and then you just browse through the apps if you want to engage an app let's say I want to engage let's see something non-personal here um, <laughs> seems like everything's personal well, let's say we want to engage the ES File Explorer, which is here. I'm going to try doing this with two hands. All right, so we're here on ES File Explorer. Just to make a closer view, you could go across the apps like such. And once you're on the app you want, you hit enter, and boom, it opens it up. What sucks is you kind of have to scroll through everything in this manner which seems kind of useless. I wish they would enable a swipe function, which I'm sure they will in the future. But um, what, if when you're done using the app for whatever reason, you hit the home button and boom, you're back home just like you would control it regularly, but through your phone. And that's that. Let me see if I could get a better angle on this. Okay, I hope that's a little better. Uh, yeah, it's much better for both of us. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's the, pretty much the main idea of it. Like uh, you would have to swipe through everything to switch uh, panels. I, w I was hoping there would be like a swipe app where you could just swipe somewhere. And um, I, as you can see, there is um, brightness setting, volume setting, which works pretty great actually. Look, look at that, it's pretty responsive. And then, um, yeah, your home button, search button goes straight to Google, which is pretty cool. Uh, then you pull up your text pad and you could uh, communicate like that. Let's go back here. And uh, another cool thing is if you're playing a game, you could go into uh, a game mode, like a little controller. This is uh, set up as the SNES emulator controller, but uh, you could go into your settings here. And there's only a few options for now at least. Uh, like they have GTA 3, if you have that uh, installed on your tablet, you use that as a remote. And when you go back, to the remote, put it in landscape view, and I why does it still look like a SNES emulator? But I guess that's what it looks like. Uh, the PlayStation buttons are there, and yeah, that's pretty much the main idea. Uh, it still works with the home screen and such. But yeah, uh, I don't think it, it's it's a step up from using your hands on the tablet since it's still capacitive buttons, which is really annoying. But it makes it easy for I guess using your tablet from a distance. Um, 
so uh, let's do another example real quick um, let's say I'm, I want to browse the interweb uh, I hope there's nothing on Google I'm gonna cover it just in case there is something on Google yep there's something on Google hold on one second let me delete those tabs All right, so here we are uh, on Google, and we want to search for something. This didn't work last time. I think it's my phone, but I'm going to try it again. So let's say we want to search kittens. Yeah, I don't think it wants to work again. Uh, I don't know if this is a bug within the um, app or if it's just my phone is not compatible with it. Okay, it says it's not able to register SDP, blah, blah, blah. So I think that is my phone. Um, it's uh, it's a nice app for what it is. Uh, it's very promising. Yeah, something about it won't, can't register the SDP. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but I really think it has a lot of potential. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. I mean, I, wouldn't, I don't see myself using it day-to-day, -day, but if I was a heavy gamer on the tablet uh, I would use it please excuse the emulators I do own those consoles and the games that I have for them but that's not the point the point is it's a cool app uh, I think it's pretty useful it has potential uh, can't wait for any updates but I hope this was useful uh, it's a very useful app also so enjoy it thanks for watching and let me know if there's anything else you want me to check out. See you guys.